Hmm. Okay. Well, so this is interesting. Uh, let me think how I want to phrase this. <clears throat> the rules are very, very clear. <laughs> I'm a very poor reader. These mode markers, each core has to have the same mode. And based on my reading of the rules deeper in the rules, I got the impression that units may have a variety of modes or different modes inside the core. But really, it's whatever mode you put the HQ into that is going to drive the mode of the forces at play for that core. For those of you just tuning in, this is uh, Army Group Center, 3W title, older game, given a run for its money. It's a uh, Masahiro Yamazaki design. And um, you know some of the markings on the board here, June 23, June 23 up here on the top end of the board up here. Uh, you that's where the historically where the forces got to uh, where the German forces got to in the first two days. So starting out on the AM of June 22, uh, we're doing 12 hour turns here. So I've got uh, two more moves to make it to uh, this location. And I can tell you right now that that ain't going to happen. So we're not maybe maybe in the north. I could see. If I dropped into transport mode this turn, uh, this next move, assuming that none of these guys blocked here, I could go around and get to Vilnius and then pop into uh, uh, moving offense mode or whatever it's called and take Vilnius or attack, at least attack Vilnius and maybe force a retreat there uh, on the PM of the 23rd. But there's no way we're going to make it to uh, Ber uh, Baranovich. On a Vichy here uh, by uh, by June twenty third. Uh, equally so, Pavlov's forces. Uh, let's can we zoom out a little bit? <clears throat> there we go. Pavlov's forces here. Most of the tenth army is all in good shape. No, they haven't really been attacked very much because the because of the way the movement works, and we'll talk about it in a sec. Uh, so we, we, we're not seeing the massive uh, retreat that perhaps needs to happen or could have happened or should have happened. These guys are all, uh, you know, they all have four movement points because of this mode here. Now, maybe I should have chosen to put them into a different mode, into mobile uh, offense mode here. As the defenders, you would think they'd be in defensive mode, but they're not. That's the historically based on this designer's viewpoint. And also, I think, to give the, the Soviets the disadvantage that's need, needed from a game, stand, game standpoint. Put them into this, you choose one of two offensive modes, which makes uh, taking losses a little easier. And all the headquarters are disordered uh, for at the beginning of the game. So, so it's a little... I've, I've made... A, so I made a mistake with with this, and I assumed... And I've now I've cleaned up most of it now. But <clears throat> I assumed that each unit or each division or group of divisions well that's a core i guess but each division could literally choose its mode and to me to me given the number of mode markers there are there are six modes there are 10 cores that means there should be 30 mode markers plus the reserve units and independent units of which let's call there's another 10 that'd be another 30 markers it'd be 60 markers there's every bit of 60 markers here or if not more, uh, for this mode changing. So I've got maybe 30 on the map, and then I've got all these here and all these here, all mode markers. And I'm a little confused as to why there's so many. Um, and so I th I just, it's kind of, it felt logical to me too also that, you know, a, a core, a, a divisional, let's call it a core commander, right? So this 47th Panzer Corps could say, okay, you guys go ahead and tack, you guys follow through. Uh, we, we're going to do that combat and then movement comes after combat. So then you'll transport through, you're going to race through and then these guys will move as well and you kind of bunny hop each other. So it made sense to me from that standpoint that you could have some delineation of the choice of mode you wanted to be in. 
for instance, with the Fourth Army, I think it's the Fourth down here in the south. I think it is Fourth Army down here. The infantry units from this Twelfth uh, Corps here. If I wanted all those guys uh, to be in prepared offense here, whoops, I'm sorry, here, then that means everything else in the core would have to also be in prepared offense, and that's now going to slow down everything down. So there's a little bit of argy bargy bullshit going on here where I've gonna, I'm going to have to just eat where guys are because I, some of the guys I use transport mode, and they pay half a movement point versus one movement point on the road for mechanized. But here's the kick, here's the kicker for for movement. The way movement works in this game, and this is probably opportunity to you know, maybe it's a, a discussion we should have in another video. And I'll I'll talk through the game mechanics from A to Z versus uh, jumping into some little specifics in this one. But suffice to say, briefly. We fubar the mode. The mode rules in this game. They were very clearly stated. I misinterpreted them, and uh, I'm, a, I'm a little disappointed that I've done that. But I think we can get to roughly where we are, where we need to be. I should say in terms of correcting it, correcting the error. But but it is going to put us massively behind. I think uh, from a historical achievement of the German situation, which is another reason why I thought that individual units could choose a particular mode and i suppose if i looked at the counter density i would have said you know what there's probably not enough information counters to cater for all of the units on the board all right i'll jump back right on in a minute and we'll discuss the different mechanics and, and how the game works i've already done one on combat so you can see that we'll talk about movement and other bits and pieces in a second